Uh, Tory MP, former Tory MP, Lee Anderson, had the Tory whip taken away from him today because of comments he made about Sadiq Khan on GB News earlier on this week. Let's take a listen. I don't actually believe that these Islamists have got control of our country, but what I do believe is they've got control of Khan and they've got control of London and they've got control of Storm as well. And we've seen the shocking scenes played out in Parliament just a few nights back where Storm had crumbled, he put pressure on the speaker to alter the rules, if you like, for the nature of the debate and the ultimate voting. And this is, this is a result of, of weak leadership. Now, how can Islamists both have control of London, but also we see that London is too woke to function, with pride flags on crossings, starting police horses, and train lines called Suffragette and Windrush? Look, mistakes happen on live TV. We all know I've made them, but I was always taught to apologise for my mistakes, and that's why I think Lee Anderson needs to apologise to Sadiq Khan for saying and inferring that he was mates with Islamists. I don't think Lee would have said that if Sadiq wasn't a Muslim. And the problem is, we do actually have quite a serious problem with Islamist extremism in the United Kingdom. Too many people have been killed by Islamist terrorists since 7-7. We had a situation in Parliament this week where Islamist extremists might have influenced the Speaker of the House, Sir Lindsay Hoyle. And yet now we're having a news story talking about the fact that a Conservative MP made a racist comment. These are playing into the hands of our enemies here, allowing them to brandish us as bigots and saying that the right are racist, when actually there is a very serious problem with Islamism. And unfortunately, Lee's comments have taken away from that. So, Lee, please apologise to Sadiq Khan and think carefully before you speak. So we're going to read a comment from Lee Anderson earlier on today from a statement that he made uh, earlier on. Following a call with the Chief Whip, I understand the difficult position that I put both the Prime Minister in with regards to my comments. I fully accept that they had no option but to suspend the whip in these circumstances. However, I will continue to support the government's efforts to call out extremism in all its forms, be that anti-Semitism or Islamophobia. So, Ben Leo, do you think Lee should apologise? Uh, not if he believes what he says. No, I don't think he should ever apologise to the mob. But you mentioned that he wouldn't have said that if Sadiq Khan wasn't a Muslim. In actual fact, he went on to say Keir Starmer was also uh, uh, guilty of the same accusation as well. He, he said Sadiq Khan... Did he Khan, say Keir Starmer was mates with Islamists? Yeah. He said Khan, and then later said Starmer, was, uh, was mates and rallied So you don't think there's anything wrong with what he said? I think it was very sloppy, and I agree with you, what you said, it gives, it gives the, the mob and the left easy ammunition to um, take down uh, the right's arguments, especially Lee's arguments, and the, the, the genuine concerns about the state of play, especially in London, the scenes we've seen, not just recently with the, the Palestinian marches, but as you said, Terrorist attacks, Westminster 2017, London Bridge twice, um, Bately Grammar School, kids hoarded into village halls because they scuffed the Koran. But in actual fact, I haven't got time for any of this anymore. Um, I just think the state of politics at the moment is so low grade and is so pathetic. Most of these politicians, and I include Lee in this actually, wouldn't get a job in any decent private sector company. They behave like a bunch of school kids. And actually, it's an embarrassment on this country that uh, we're dealing with uh, these people who are, you know, they're in power and, and dictating uh, the state of play in this country. I just think it's a complete mess. I hate the vibe and the level of toxicity. Um, and I'm looking forward to some real renewal of uh, the state of play once Labour get in, just so the Tories or someone else, maybe reform, can rise from the ashes and find some proper... So Benjamin politics. Butterworth, renewal of the state of play when Labour get in, can Keir Starmer do it? I, I don't know what that means, but what I do think is that Lee Anderson is telling you something about the Tories that you are naive to ignore. This isn't just a man who has made so many dodgy and unacceptable comments. For reference, he was kicked out of the Labour Party, blocked from being a council candidate years ago for being sexist. Now he's been suspended from the Tories for being Islamophobic. When he eventually joins the Reform Party, I'm sure there'll be something else that he does that's stupid. So Ben is right that he's not capable of a real job. But this is someone, despite his profound incompetence and his offensive views, that the Tory party and the Prime Minister saw fit to make vice chair just a few weeks ago. He's shown us who he is, he's a bigot and he's weak as a politician and he shames the Tory party. Are you calling Belinda a bigot then? You just said he's welcome in reform. 
Well, I'm, Nigel Farage earlier today has called on Lee Anderson to defect to reform. I don't think he'll be there's back no, in the there's Tory no party way before Richard the election. Richard should have Lee Anderson in the Come on, Belinda, Belinda, you've yeah. got right of a reply there. Yeah, well, I do. I think uh, I slightly agree with, with Ben Leo here. I think the Tories infighting and squabbling between the One Nation Tories and, and the sort of common man on the street Tories, common sense, talk at a pub type chap, which I think Lee Anderson is. And I do but think he voted... Comments, I, comments talk I'll at be, a pub I've just chats. started talking, so I can finish. When he, was, when he was saying what he said, yes, the language is sloppy, and I do believe as an MP, you have a responsibility not to use inflammatory language. And just because someone is a Muslim does not mean that they have Islamist mates. Um, but I do think he is reflecting concern uh, by people that there are people uh, many in the Labour Party, not just Sadiq, up and down, who are soft on Islamism, to not call out the horrific from the river to the sea yeah. um, projection onto our democratic Tower mother Bridge of all parliament. Tower Bridge, the, the hateful yes. Hamas protest. But let me just uh, quickly finish because it's important. You know, Sadiq Khan is not innocent. He was recorded as saying that moderate Muslims were Uncle Tom's. Mm -hmm. Now, that is vastly huge slur on against moderate. On Iranian telly. On Iranian telly. Oh, so there is, people have a right to be concerned concerned what he believes if he's said stuff like that in the past. And also, I feel that there are many people in politics, including the Tory party, who are so cowardly, they just refuse to stand up to the Islamist mod, mob, whether they're Tory or Labour. So I think Lee Anderson is right to not apologise if he doesn't believe in the apology, because there's yeah. very rare, it's rare as hen's teeth you get men of, and women of uh, political conviction now. But Lee Anderson but is, a, is a pathetic politician. This not, is a bloke. No, he's, he's not here to defend ago, himself. On, a, on an immigration Benjamin. bill, said that he changed the lobby he was walking through in a vote in Parliament because he was being mocked by Labour MPs. Nothing! What kind of a weak politician lets the mockery of politicians from another party change how they vote? You on seem more angry about that than all the horrific things that have been happening in the Labour Party from a prospective MP spreading conspiracy theories about Jews, from all the I Islamists... And they were kicked out of the party and the talk... Oh, delayed, but, but, but after on. two days, where was the not moral straight away. At not the straight away. Grammar School, as, yeah. as Ben has set out there, where was the moral indignation when all those kids were killed at the Manchester Arena bombing? Oh, time and time again, I think you know? people are disgusting. Yeah. I think actually you have enabled this t oh, complete you know sewer talking. to devolve around our country. Look. And look what you've done to London. It's our Tower Bridge right now is a complete basket case. It can't actually yep. function. And that's under and that's Sadiq Khan. You. It's yep. utterly idiotic and, and dangerous for you to try and tie the Labour Party. Oh, yes, but action actually, mm -hmm. there's no need to do that. Act banishing I think London's, I think actually London's Jews deserve better than what yeah. you've given them. And, and that man that you've backed on two occasions in the form of Sadiq Khan. Well, I think that is Islamophobic. No. Saying that oh, because he's go. a Muslim that he has problem with Jews. I tell you what, I, he's I been didn't very actually clear say that. about He hasn't, as police and crime commissioner, he has absolutely not stood up for Britain's Jewish community. Benjamin, community. he allowed it to be to projected onto our parliament. Exactly. Do you know how frightened Jews he are in allowed. London? He is right. the mayor. He's allowed two-tier policing you know what? and yes. given a soft touch to those Hamas-supporting protests. Oh, I'm going to do you as a service. We're ending it there.